Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about use a graph to determine where a function is increasing, decreasing, or a constant. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So let's look at this graph right here, okay? Notice the graph goes up, then down, then back up again. We can see it's, okay, increasing. We can say it's kind of going up if we're reading left to right. Going up, then going back down, then coming back up again. The interval where it's increasing, right, we can see that there, the first part, then it hits a peak, then turns back around, it comes decreasing, then hits another, like, valley, and then goes back up to be increasing, okay? And so what we're basically trying to do, it says it right here, is that it's increasing where f of b is greater than f of a, where b is greater than a. So really what it's saying is, it's increasing at a point as, as we're going to the right, okay, if the y value is, like, as you going, the y value right to the right of it, just very small, right there, is a little bit higher than the one before, then we're still increasing, and then vice versa, and we go decreasing. Going down, well, same thing, if, we, if the next y value to the right, okay, is less than the one previously before it, then we're decreasing. Okay, so that's where we have a graph where we're increasing and decreasing, but what really happens at the peaks? Okay, so that we, we said we're going to go over when a function is increasing, decreasing, or a constant. Well, if a function is not increasing, nor it's decreasing, right there at that, 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 that one spot, right at the top or the bottom, is what we call a constant. It's neither increasing nor decreasing, okay? And I like to use the analogy, it's like you're throwing a ball, right? When you throw a ball into the air, it's going up, then it comes down. But for a brief moment, okay, it just sits there and it's constant. It's, ne it's neither going up nor down. And that's what's happening here. And that's actually going to dive in to our next topic and our next video, okay, on local maximums and local minimums and absolute maximums, absolute minimums, all right? All right, so let's go dive into an example here from a graph. Number seven. We're given this graph here, and we want to find the function p of t in our figure. Uh, or given the function p of t in our figure here, identify the intervals in which the function appears to be increasing or decreasing. Okay, so what, what do we have when we look at our function here? Okay, well, it's kind of coming down. And then it hits a little from uh, from negative infinity down to one. It looks like it's decreasing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put a little decreasing here. And where we notice it's de decreasing, and we're talking about increasing as well. Okay, so when is it decreasing? Okay, so it's decreasing first. Well, from negative infinity. Negative infinity to to what? To one, right? Down at the bottom, one. And then from one to it looks like it keeps increasing all the way to three. And this is up oh, I thought thirty. <laughs> no, just three. From one to three though, it looks like it's increasing. It has a maximum there. Okay. Then it looks like it decreases again from three to four. All right. Then from there, it looks like it's increasing again from four forever to positive infinity. Okay. So if we want to find the intervals in which the functions appear to be increasing, that's really what they asked us specifically. We can make the interval as such. We say, okay, from one to three and from four to positive infinity, and that's our increasing, okay? And let's just go from, I don't know, let's keep going for decreasing, why not? And I'm flipping it around here, but we can make an interval from negative infinity to positive one, and from three to four. Notice I have parentheses here, parentheses here and not brackets, because it doesn't, it's not increasing or decreasing at, let's say, four, but the values around it, leading up to it or after it. Okay, so again, we use parentheses here. So I hope you learned something here about when a function's increasing, decreasing, or constant. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you 
and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com